What is up, Togs? How the heck are you? Uh, I do have something to talk about today, and that still that something has to do with motorcycles. Go figure. Uh, but in this case, it has something to do with something that maybe you've seen an ad for already. Now I know I've seen this ad several, several times. I've probably seen it a dozen times already, maybe more, uh, because this is something that uh, they're pushing. I'm guessing this company has bought a lot of advertising time on on uh, YouTube to get the word out for their, and I'm going to put this in air quotes, motorcycles. Uh, what I'm talking about are Monday motorcycles. Like I said, if you're on YouTube and you enjoy some motorcycle related content, you've probably seen these ads because they're targeting you. And so I myself wanted to find out more about what Monday motorcycles were all about. You know, what, what's the deal? How come I've seen all these ads? What's up with them? I know that they're electric bikes because they mentioned it in the ad, but they don't go a lot further into it. And you know, it's, a, it's a, some of them, um, they have extended ads and you know i watched the extended ad but still not a whole lot of like specific information so i went went on to uh, monday motorcycles website to find out more and what it boils down to is monday motorcycles are less of a uh a street bike and more of a, a moped if you were curious about buying one or just curious about them at all you do not have to have an m1 endorsement on your driver's license to ride a Monday motorcycle. You don't have to wear a helmet because technically these are not uh, road legal motorcycles. These are like electric mopeds. Now I'm all about the electric bikes. If you haven't seen my video already, I'll, I'll post a link here to, to have my feelings on the live wire. And, uh, and I've also ridden the, the, the Zero electric motorcycle. And I'm a big fan. Someday I hope to own an electric motorcycle, actually. You know, this is down the road when, when uh, we have a garage and a place to plug it in. But yeah, that, this is, that's something that I'm, I have interest in and I'm curious about. So when I, you know, when I saw this ad for these electric bikes, I was curious. So you don't have to have an M1, but because basically you're gonna be riding in the bike lane because they're just electric bicycles. Uh, you're gonna roll on the throttle like a typical motorcycle. So I guess there's the, the parallel there between a motorcycle and a moped. But for me, here's where I kind of just lost all interest in this in this uh, this style of bike. Uh, it wasn't just that they only go 20 miles an hour, right? It, you can get the off-road version and that'll take you up to 40 miles an hour. Uh, I don't know what's gonna prevent you from riding the off-road version in town. Uh, because I, I don't know that these these bikes will have turn signals or anything because you know they're not uh, they're not made to ride out on the on the middle of the road here they're they're made to, to ride uh, on on bicycle routes and bicycle uh, lanes so anyway that's besides the point here's here's the kicker with with Monday motorcycles they start at forty five hundred dollars right now you can reserve yours for a thousand dollars and I thought when it said reserve that maybe you know that's like a down payment and that they would be like a, like two grand or something especially for a bike that we're talking about that's not going to actually be able to ride on the road like this like a regular motorcycle so you compare that with what i would think of as like a starter or a, like a smaller motorcycle Th these bikes are, are are not your standard sized motorcycles they're actually to me they look maybe like a little bit bigger than a grom so of course i wanted to compare the two so Groms start at $3,400. That's $1,100 cheaper than one of these electric mopeds. And on a and a Grom, you can ride on the on the on the on the highway. I don't know that you'd ever want to ride a Grom on the freeway with like a multi-line highway or freeway. But you can definitely take them on the back roads and and get up to pretty high speeds. I think that, you know they could probably max out. And I'm not really familiar, so definitely uh, don't bother co commenting and. Because uh, I'll have a statistic up here on their top speed, but I think that they'd probably go 55 miles an hour And they'd just be a ton of fun. I I'm guessing that you could probably top speeds out even more I know you can make mods to them and that's the other thing right groms you can you can mod them out and with that money that you're saving on buying a uh, a Grom instead of a Monday motorcycle You can do some pretty fun and nice mods on on your Grom or 
or Grom, you know, type motorcycle. I think Groms are uh, like 125cc. I understand the the allure here, right? Because you don't have to have a motorcycle license to ride uh, a Monday motorcycle. So, right, anyone off the street can just go and buy one, except for the fact that they're $4,500. So, obviously, their target audience is is uh, people who have a disposable income, uh, a very large disposable income. So, you're looking at wealthy people who want another toy, and but that's fine. Uh, just to me though, it's kind of like seeing these advertisements all the time. I thought that they would have been a more approachable uh, motorcycle, something that, that more people could actually uh, afford because that, that's just not, it's so unreasonable to me. And so anyway, if you were thinking about checking out Money Motorcycles, now you know a little bit more about them. Uh, you've probably done your own research, but it, if you were just kind of curious about them, now you've got a little more information. Again, they look like fun little bikes, you know? If you've got a group of people who have them, just kind of like how I know there's a lot of Grom groups out there who ride Groms in, in, uh, and group rides, and that's fun, but again, I don't know that there's going to be enough people, and obviously in more affluent areas, you're probably gonna have more people that are, that'll be able to afford them, and you know, you, can, you could probably find a group in, in an area like somewhere in Southern California or maybe in the Bay Area in this area. That is all I've got for you guys today. Monday motorcycles. Uh, what do you think about them? Have you, if, you've, if you're on my, on my channel watching my videos, you've probably seen an ad for them. If not, I'll definitely link their ad here and so you can go right to it and learn or see what they look like and what they're all about. If you don't mind, hit that like button down there if you enjoyed watching this video. And if you haven't already, or this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Guys, if you are out there riding, be safe. And if you're not riding, get riding. I'm that one guy, and I am out.